Hi and welcome to our next video on the perimeter of a circle. So we've looked at the perimeter and area of basic shapes. Now we're going to look at the perimeter um, and area of circles. All right, first of all, we're going to look at the language of circles. So if we have a look at our circle here, um, you can see that there are three distinct uh, parts to a circle, or well, four actually. Um, we've got this point in the center here, which we call the center point. Now that's a critical point. The distance from there out to the outer edge of the circle is called the radius. Now that is any point on the circle. So from the center to any outer edge point on the circle, that's called the radius. We've also got a line that goes from one side of the circle to the other, and that goes through the center point, and this is called the diameter. Now if you look at the diameter, the diameter is actually two lots of the radius, so two of radii. So if we think of, if we need to calculate the radius from the diameter, we just basically, it's half the diameter. Around the circle, where we've got the perimeter of the circle, we use this term, the circumference. And that's the term, mathematical term, for the perimeter of a circle. So how do we actually calculate the perimeter of a circle? First of all, we need to know this special number. Okay, There's a special number uh, in mathematics, and it's called pi. And it's just basically represented by the Greek letter P. Um, and it's a ratio of the circumference of any circle to the diameter of that circle. And it doesn't matter what size of the circle, the ratio is always the same. And it's always going to equal pi. So basically, it's the, the, the circumference divided by the diameter equals pi. Um, and it's used in both calculations of circumference and area. Um, pi is a really strange number. It's actually an irrational number. Um, generally, it's represented as 3.14 in shorthand. But because it's an irrational number, it actually goes on uh, with infinite decimal places. So you can see here, I've just put down the bottom here, just a representation of pi to 30 decimal places. Have a look. You can see that it, it will just continue to go on um, forever as it's an irrational number. All right, so the formula for the perimeter of a circle or the circumference of a circle is as follows. So we've got two different formula that are actually well, the same, but that it just depends on what information we're given in our question. So we've got here that the circumference equals pi times the diameter. So you can see the diameter across the, um, the circle there. Or it can be the circumference equals 2 pi r. 2 times pi times the radius. Now basically you'll see here that 2 times the radius gives me the diameter. That's where the 2 and the um, r come on. And we've got the pi there. So depending on what uh, information we're given, uh, we'll either use this one here if we're given the diameter or we'll use 2 pi r if we're given the radius. So that will just be determined by what, what we see in the question. All right, so if we just have a look at the um, couple of examples here, let's find the circumference of these um, circles. So we're going to start by writing the formula. And because we're given the diameter, it's circumference equals pi times the diameter. And then we're now going to substitute in. So the circumference equals pi times 4. Circumference equals, now if we get our calculator up, pi times 4 equals 12.566370. So you can see there's a lot of numbers there. We want to round that to two decimal places. So we go to the third decimal place. If it's above 5, the, the second decimal place goes up by 1, which it is. So we actually end up with 12, 12.57, and we've got meters. So that's the circumference, that's the distance around that circle. Okay, let's look at the second one. We're in this one, we're given the radius. So we're going to use the formula, circumference equals 2 pi r, 2 times pi times r. So let's substitute in, circumference equals 2 times pi times 3.3. .3. Circumference equals, let's get our calculator up again. Let's move it to a spot out of the way. 2 times pi times 3.3, .3, and that equals 20.734. So we've got 20.734 20, in this case it's centimeters. Now I don't I won't write the number for pi in the 
uh, in the substitution because we can use our calculator for pi. The only time we'll use pi is if we're told to use it in the shorthand 3.14. All right, well, what happens now if I don't have a full circle? So we're going to look at how we can find the perimeter of some shapes um, that may have some curved sections in them, but they're not a full circle, but the curved sections do are parts of circles. So you can see here, if we want to find the perimeter of these shapes, what we need to do is we need to work out, well, what fraction of the circumference of this circle is that part? And then we're going to add these straight sections. All right, so really what we're looking for is the outer edge is the the fraction of the circumference, and then we're going to add these. And you can see here, this is actually the radius. And over here, this one's actually the diameter. Now this one here, we've actually got a quarter of a circle, so that's actually a quarter of the circumference. Or C divided by 4. In this one here, we've got a semicircle, which is half of a circle. So we've actually got C divided by 2, or half the circumference. So we can actually use that to actually calculate the circumference. And we'll do that in the example on the next page. All right, so let's find the perimeter of the following shapes correct at two decimal places. All right, so if we have a look here, we've got the quarter of a circle. So the circumference actually equals pi times, sorry, two pi r, because we're given the radius, divided by four, and then we're actually going to add, because that's 9 as well, we're going to add 9 plus 9. So our circumference is actually going to equal 2 pi r. We just think of it 2 pi r divided by 4 plus 18. Circumference will equal... Um, 2 times pi times 9 divided by 4 plus 18. Now if we put that, we substitute those numbers into our calculator. If we bring our calculator over here. So 2 times pi times 9 equals divided by 4 equals plus 18. we get 32.137 or we get we've got we ended up with 14.14 plus 18 if I just break that down and the circumference equals 32.14 millimeters all right over here we got a semicircle so that was that was the circumference divided by 2 so the perimeter equals the circumference divided by 2 plus the diameter which is 10 now because we use the diameter, the circumference is pi times diameter divided by 2 plus the 10 there. So the perimeter equals pi times 10 divided by 2 plus 10. That perimeter equals, or well, pi times 10 divided by 2 gives me 15.71 plus 10. Oops. So my perimeter equals 25.71 meters. So you can see there we've actually calculated the perimeter of the whole shape. So not only just the circumference, we need to add in this line. So you can see here this one, it's that there plus this. Here it's the two straight sides and there. All right, thank you for watching that video on perimeter of a circle or the circumference of a circle, and we'll see you next time.